My name is Felix. I'm a writer, a performer. I have a theatre company called Transcend Theatre, which I write the plays for and act in them as well. I'm also signed with the Queer House London and I'm a spoken word poet. So I've got some poems for you today. Some of them were written a while ago. Some of them were finished last night. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. I say that a lot, so you'll hear that a lot because I do hope you enjoy them. This first one is called The City Won't Calm Me Down. He said the city won't calm me down, but it might if you see the skyline from this rooftop in town. I'll take you there, if you want, when dusk drowns out the night sounds. I know how alive you are when you're somewhere you can't be found. The city won't calm me down, you're honestly the only one who knows how. Police sirens are no lullaby, the fragments of road that scatter and leave potholes don't pacify. Hard to sleep wondering which dependency is keeping you alive. When you're asleep, I really miss you, and you're asleep all the time. I miss tracing the lifeline that runs across my palm against yours. It stops and starts again. It tells me we'll work in another lifetime, but in this one, I can't be yours. When I'm reborn, the only world I'll know is you. I typed too fast and all the keys flew off. I rearranged them, but the only word I can make is you. I fog up frozen car windows with my warm breath. My mind doesn't know what to write. My body does the rest, pre-programmed you. The TV is showing your favourite programme. People's Instagram stories post songs that match the pace of your heartbeat. On each street, I drag my gaze across the floor. Could recognise you by them battered black air forces that are still too big for your feet. My tattoo artist asks what I want next. I messed up and I said you. Now you cling to my skin forever, like your cigarette smoke that spoiled my hand-me-down cream coat. You were right. The city won't calm me down, but your voice freezes my spiralling. It's the only voice that knows how. I nestle into memories you have no recollection of. I find comfort in times you've left forgotten. I hear words that slipped your lips that you can't recall because they slipped your lips after substances that slayed your words and made you forget it all. Thank you. This next one is based on the fact that when I was younger, I used to play The Sims a lot, but I wasn't very good at it and my Sims would always die. So the Grim Reaper used to come and then he used to come so much that it gave me the option to marry him. So I married the Grim Reaper and had little devil babies with him. So this poem is called, I Married the Grim Reaper. As the raindrops coat our skin, we walk through to the scene of the sin. The treetops block our vision from things we don't wanna see. You tell me our friends in high places, there's so many things we could see. The branches, the trees kiss the surface of my face as my little legs struggle to keep up with your six foot two pace. Not sure if it's you or the cold air that's making my heart race. The clouds start to clear as the sun goes down. You ask me what I want to be doing when the night comes around. I say I really miss the stars. You say you know a place we can see some. You grab my hand even though my fingers are numb. We set up a blanket in a clearing in the trees. Can hear your heartbeat symphony harmonizing with the breeze. You light up a spliff, I say, save his ends, please. Not sure if I see smoke or warm breath in the cold air. Not sure how comfy I am laying against your shoulder. Not gonna lie, I don't think we'll know each other when we're older. We try to make a fire, but all we get is a smolder. If I tell you how I feel in a forest and no one is around to hear it, did it ever really happen? Doesn't feel like this should be happening. Is this really happening? But you do look so cute when the moonbeams hit your face as you whisper in my ear that it was so nice to get away. It feels nice to get out of the city. I'm still scared of the quiet, but no, you'd never let anyone hurt me. You pull out your blade and your flask is filled with whiskey. I don't know how to say it with my mouth that I want you to hold it to my neck. Scar me in a way I'll never be able to forget. I say I love it when you chat shit and carry on like it's philosophic. You say you love it when it's toxic, when we're poisoning each other from the inside out. Is this what that's about? You take my tongue right out my mouth. Can't say anything, can just taste the drought. I've channeled my destruction into your fingertips. Let it release more from my body than I let past my lips. I try and take your hood down, but you shrug it back up. You don't want to look in my eyes. Your head, it makes you fall in love. The way you think hurts my head, makes me wonder where to tread. Say you only come to people who think of death, want them to say your name with their last breath. Ask me if I'm ready to transcend. Ask me if I'm ready for my beauty to be ethereal. Telling me I knew my fate when I picked him as my boyfriend. Telling me I couldn't get this comfort from anything material. You're in my bloodstream, not just on my skin. The connection we have cuts deeper. But that's what I get for falling in love with the Grim Reaper. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed my reimagination of the Grim Reaper as a scally. <laughs> this next one is called Alive and Burning. 
I wrote this at a poetry residency and then that was kind of a free write, which was the start of it. And then the second half is based off the um, song New Body by Nicki Minaj, um, which is a bit of a mad one, which Kanye West won't let on Spotify. So please, Kanye, please add it to Spotify as if he's watching this. But anyway, um, this is called Alive and Burning. Coursing through my veins like petrol we've thrown on parts of my auntie's garden we don't want anymore. The dead trees that once bought apples for pie now bear sour and mushy. Our bodies don't prepare for how the flames instantly tower over us, how they burn our noses, how they leave our eyes itchy and raw. We run away, but you leave me behind. If I wasn't high off adrenaline and petrol fumes, I probably would have been drowned by the flames. Usually, my body thinks nothing in life is worth running for. Not a bus, you, especially my life. The match you spark lays lonely in the barren wasteland where I once used to play. The flames lick and heal my once frozen fingers, which are now alive and burning. I'm alive and burning. I'm alive and burning. I wish I could set parts of myself on fire that I didn't want anymore. I wish that I could tell you things, but I don't know how to say them. I wish I could stop my body burning every time I feel your fire on my skin. Don't know if my awkwardness is muscle tension or muscle memory. Don't know if I'm alive or burning. Don't know if I'm alive or burning. Don't know if I'm alive or burning. You won't love me now, I do. Wouldn't love the version of myself that looks in the mirror. The fire through your veins fogged it up, but now I see myself clearer. You left my skin traced with shame, left my lips bloody from your sharp tongue. I may have been out of tune, but you shouldn't have left me highly strung. People's hands on parts of my body I don't want. When they're gone, will your touch be gone? Will the surgeon cut out the tension you left on my skin, on my body? Will I be able to relax in my new body? When I'm sleeping, I'm not dreaming. I'm replaying, yet yeah, leaving. Rewind, replaying, I'm dreaming. Replaying, I'm alive. Replaying, I'm burning. Maybe I'm alive, but burning. Thank you. This last one, um, I finished last night. It's about discreet lads. If you don't know what a discreet lad is, it's a lad who's gay, but not out. And um, this is about that. Um, so I hope you enjoy as I say again. <laughs> Keep my wings in a drawstring diesel bag. Valiums in the Uber. Valiums on the street corner when there's none in the area. Discreet lads on too much lem. Keeping me clothes on even when I'm fucking sweating. Run out of socks without holes in. Run out of underwear that's nice enough for hookups to see. Run out of t-shirts that are baggy around my chest. Run out of washing powder. Run out of discreet lads on too much lem. I FaceTime yet, yeah, your pupils dark, eyes wide, say so you're fucking off at you, but it's fine, I don't mind. So am I. You tell me you don't usually do this. I say me neither. At least one of us is lying. Your house is like an Ikea display. Everything has a place except me. You ask me what I like. I don't know. You ask me what I'm like. I don't know. You ask me why I'm here. I don't know. I got scared by the rustle in my hood before. Had to move my neck in the same way to check that's what made the sound. Had to unlearn things about myself that other people thought they'd found. But I love it how you talk to me when no one's around. You'll probably block me after this. Want to block out the taste of my lips. Want to block out the feeling of the soft hair on my jawline you felt as we kissed. You just want to get to know me body, not get to know someone you could miss. I check the time on my phone and say I should probably leave. I go to book an Uber, but you remember you'd said you'd get one for me. Then you stop, stutter and sigh, I, I just... What is it? I, 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 I just... What is it? I don't want them to tell you my name. I understand and leave. Take all parts of myself away with me. My taxi's not here yet, but I was giving myself the ick lurking in the corner of your room. No Ubers in the area, more Valium. The sun's starting to rise, and the thought of seeing myself in the daylight's knocking me sick. You said it's mad how I even got you excited, usually impossible with Lem. I go to send you a message saying, don't die, XOXO, but it's sent, not delivered. All this app shit's just a game, and all these discreet lads are just the same. Thank you. <laughs> This next one is my final one. And it is about someone who has recently gone to jail, who is my ex. And then as soon as I say that, people are normally like, oh, a criminal. But I think we need to distinguish that not all criminals are bad people and the criminal justice system doesn't work. And who is it really benefiting? I think a lot of people don't realize that the reason most prisoners are there are addiction problems, a lack of opportunities, you know, they cut you funding and don't give anything for young people. So why are they surprised when they turn to crime? Um, so that's about this. And I hope that's something that if you haven't thought about before, you do. 
This is called cold cell. Your cell feels cold on my skin, even though I can only feel you through the phone our conversations are monitored on. You joke about stashing an iPhone with Snapchat so you can hit the replay button on the pictures I send you in the middle of the night. They raid your cell. I hear them crash and smash around, rip the pictures of me in your favorite outfit I own. No regards for you, no not your name, but your prison number. I know you're better than I want to. I know better than to want you. I hate when you tell me you shouldn't have done something and explain yourself with the wrong reason. I wish I didn't calculate your thoughts. I wish I didn't preempt disappointment. Not sure if it would hurt less or more. Wish I could kiss you through the phone. Wish I could see you later on. But I'll see you when you get home. For now, I'll kiss you through the phone. You spit me bars you've been writing. Tell me it's my neck you wish you were biting. Rather than holes into the sleeves of your prison issue jumper and the plastic vape that gives the buzz you crave. Feel you crave to misbehave. I tell you not to shave. Grow me a sexy prison beard and keep lifting them weights. Held the coat I sent you close in the post office queue. Knew it'll be the closest our skin will be for a while. I wake up cold in the middle of the night. Wish I could ring ya, but I have to wait for your calls in the allocated time. I hear the beep that means you're running out of credit, but I haven't told you to stay safe yet. Hear the beep that means you're running out of credit. All I can hear when I'm writing my next poetry set. I don't have enough time to say the things I want to, but before you go, please just know I love. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my 4 a.m. thoughts, <laughs> my middle of the day thoughts. Um, yeah, and I hope you maybe thought about something you haven't thought about before. So yeah, I've been Felix Mufti. Thank you. <laughs>